Welcome everyone. So today I just want to talk to you for a minute about fear. Fear is such a yucky, yucky thing and it affects every single one of us. Even that big tough guy that looks so tough over there on the side, he is just as fearful about something in his life or her life or whatever the case may be. We all have fear somewhere in our soul, in our brain, you know, we have been wired for it. In fact, we've been taught our whole lives to be fearful of this, that, or the other, whatever the case may be. And they have programmed us and we are subjected to that programming every single day, every single time that a choice or decision comes up in our life or we are asked to take certain action. And fear cannot be our driving point. It can't be the thing that motivates us. Fear has to be something that we utilize as a, like a temperature gauge and say, okay, well, I'm feeling fearful about something. That means I need to address why. And you have to find out what it is that's causing that fear and then learn everything that you can about that thing so that you're no longer fearful about it because it's the lack of understanding and it's the lack of understand uh, knowledge <laughs> i think my record skipped it's the lack of knowledge that um causes fear in the first place and then it's also the lack of control that comes with that lack of knowledge that causes fear in the first place and you know you may not be able to eliminate fear but you might be able to eliminate the unreasonable, unnecessary aspects of it and the aspects of it that might get in the way of your making a good choice or taking the right action in a situation. So like I was saying, they have been programming us through television and media and radio and our parents and everybody, the teachers, everyone has been programming us our whole lives for fear. And we are based in fear. We are motivated by fear. And it's unfortunate that we aren't more motivated by good things like happiness and love. But the thing that will motivate somebody faster than happiness or love is fear. So knowing that, knowing that's a vulnerability among us, we should be able to protect that or at least try our best to protect ourselves from that vulnerability and not allow it to be a place where somebody can take advantage and manipulate us and affect our thoughts and our actions and our, our choices. Fear is just something we have to learn how to balance and, and, and utilize in our lives as, like I said, a temperature gauge. And we can't allow it to take the wheel. We can't allow it to control. And if you really want an example of how great fear does when it's in control, think about how many times you've walked away from an argument or something and gone, I wish I'd said that. It's because you were in a fear-based mind. And when you're in a fear-based mind, it, your brain just doesn't work as well as when you are in a calm state. So if you can keep yourself from being drawn into extremes, drawn into being fearful, then you're gonna find that you have a whole lot more control in your life. And you're going to probably be drawn to less things that are bad for you. So. I hope this video helps you in some way. I wish you all the very best. Take care.